my ASVAB party people. Here's a short one, but a great one. Here we go. So we want to find the value of X here. And the description that we're given is 66 is equal to six times the sum of four and the number X. So this is one of those questions that although it seems short, it might feel easy. It's not quite so because you can make this one simple mistake and then everything goes to and so we don't want that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead here and just start off by understanding, yep, we're looking for X. And what we have to do is translate this English over here into math. And watch how I'm going to do this. And you're going to notice the part where you get to where the mistake might happen. So here we go. Let's start off here again. 66 is equal to. So this right here automatically, my party people, is equal to. That's the equal sign, right? So they're describing a relationship. They're describing an equation. Let's make sure we capture that. So on the left side, you see that 66 is equal to something. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and write 66. Then we have is equal to whatever all this is. So this is the confusing part. This is where we want to really pay attention, my party people. So here, six times the sum of four and a number X. It's so easy to think that you're supposed to multiply six times four and nothing else. It's so easy to make that mistake. But watch this. It says six times. Okay. So six times, six times what? And it says the sum. So we need to find whatever this sum is. And then we multiply that by six. I'm going to say that one more time. We need to find whatever the sum is. And then we multiply by six. We're not just going to multiply six by whatever we want to. It's six multiplied by whatever these numbers are added together. So how that's going to look is just like this. And if this helps you out, my party people, make sure to like this video, comment, and check out our Easter holiday sale up to 67% off our full program to help you get the job you want. So here, what we see is the sum. So I'm going to put a parentheses so I can safely put my addition, my sum here inside. And it says we're adding four and a number X. So I'll do four plus X. And there it is. It is not going to be six times four plus X. That's the biggest mistake you can make. And that's the easiest way to get this one wrong. So what we're going to do here is once we have this, again, we're saying six times the sum first, then multiply by six. And now we're going to go ahead, get rid of that parentheses by distributing that six. So once we do that, we'll have 66 still on the left side. Six times four is 24 and six times X is six X. Now this looks like an equation that's pretty straightforward to solve, wouldn't you say? So let's go ahead and handle this. So first step, we're gonna work backwards trying to get that X by itself. And we see that we have a 24 and a six. So the 24 is the furthest thing away from it. So we're gonna go ahead and say that if it's just a 24 sitting there, we'll subtract 24 on both sides. Once we do that, it's gonna cancel out on the right side, giving us over here, that's gonna be a two, that's gonna be a four. And then we have six X. And lastly, we'll divide both sides by six because we see that it's multiplying by six. And there we are. Our final answer is gonna be X equals seven. And booyah, my party people, we are good. So look out for more videos just like this. We're gonna be posting a lot more often here, my party people. But don't forget, we have our Easter holiday sale where you can get up to 67% off our full program. Long story short, you can basically pay for four months of our program and get the entire year for free. Or we have our monthly, we have our three month, six month options. They're all super affordable for anybody who's willing to enlist in the military. I've got your back. So let's keep basing the ASVAB, my party people, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.